Shalom Holy Blossom. This is the first Friday in a long time that I can look back on the week and say it has been a very good week. Monday brought news of the sudden announcement from Israel that the Supreme Court has ruled that reform and conservative conversions within Israel must now be recognized by the state. The leaders of the reform movement in Israel and here in North America have been working towards this goal for more than 15 years. Yes, of course, there is much more work to be done, but this is a major step forward in ensuring that liberal Judaism is recognized as an essential part of the character of the Jewish state. So mazel tov to us all. Also this week brought signs of an early spring. In this way, we are no different from the birds and the squirrels. We are creatures of our environment and the blue sky, the bright blue sky, has brought a real lift after a rough winter. Our Jewish calendar tells us that it's time to prepare for Pesach, and now the weather outside the window gives the same message. So please check the whole range of Holy Blossom offerings for Pesach, from a congregational Seder online, to resources so that you can lead your own Zoom Seder this year, to how to order catered meals, um, how to access our services, of course, and all kinds of creative programming for the whole family. Third, this week also brought the long-awaited, much-anticipated news that the vaccine rollout is finally picking up momentum in this great city of ours. So please see below for details about who is eligible to pre-register for the vaccine and how, including a, hot, a hotline to call or email. The Toronto UJA is organizing a team of volunteers to assist people with pre-registration. So if you know of a fellow congregant or a neighbor or relatives who need help with registration for the vaccine, this is what I would call a high mitzvah. It could even mean saving a life. So please share the information below widely. You can volunteer to join the UJA team of volunteers as well. Let's help to organize on the grassroots level to meet the systems that are now being prepared by our government and healthcare providers. And finally, I'd like to share another lift with you, which comes in the form of headlines and highlights from the results of our most recent congregational survey. You have been very instructive, so thank you for your input and feedback. Thanks to those who participated, we have now begin, begun to sketch out what could be for the Holy Blossom community in the fall. It's too soon for any announcements, of course, and things are still going to be changing week to week, month to month, between now and then. But we are now deeply entrenched in the planning and researching of all our options, including indoor and outdoor services. We asked just one open-ended quali qualitative question on the survey. Is there anything else you'd like us to know? A simple open-ended question. And um, here are two that came. One says, one congregant says, don't rush pandemic caution. It is wonderful to be able to be comfortable at home and also connected to Holy Bee. No parking, no coughing, no crowds, comfortable seats, access to a hot cup of coffee during the service. And another writes, please keep the online versions continuing even if and when gathering in person is again an option. Selfishly, I live far away and this allows me to continue to be part of Holy Bee. Less selfishly, I think older people from the congregation and those with physical challenges who find it harder to attend in person will also appreciate no longer having to risk bad weather roads if online options remain. So please let me reassure everyone if we haven't been clear about this yet, we will certainly be providing online options throughout every Shabbat, every holiday, including the high holidays, for as far out as we can see. We recognize that there is nothing like being together, but even with the vaccine, many congregants will feel more comfortable at home. And so live streaming services is here to stay at Holy Blossom. Thank God in their wisdom, the temple board invested in the technology last uh, before last fall so you can count on that now that will be a regular part of our offerings for holy blossom temple and then i'd like to share with you finally a few of the simple messages that came through and really gave me a lift this week both professionally and personally and i shared them with our whole professional staff at holy blossom i'd like to share them with you too so that you can also hear these voices of encouragement one congregant says, I think the temple is doing an incredible job of reaching out. Another says, we appreciate receiving several phone calls from Holy Blossom. 
Another says, I'm so deeply grateful for having found Holy Blossom. This is someone who comes from California and now joins us daily. She writes, the community I have met there has enriched my life incredibly. Their friendship, their generosity, their kindness has meant so much to me. I have found humor and support and encouragement and expanded my knowledge of Judaism. Another congregant says, I feel more connected to temple and it has helped me to get through the pandemic. Another writes, there are still a few tech problems from time to time for online gatherings, but overall the online connection has helped me to stay calmer and more settled. Holy Blossom has done an amazing job of bringing us together. Thank you. Another writes, a longtime member writes, I do want to thank all those who have worked so hard to be supportive, to keep us connected in the most wonderful way. I joined in 1965. It is the best investment I ever made. Another writes, Holy Blossom and its programming has been a wonderful resource during this time. I feel I know people better than I did before the pandemic. And finally, thank you for keeping the community together, engaged and supported during this most challenging time. We can rely on Holy Blossom Temple. So thank you for your feedback and your input and your guidance. And yes, also these words of encouragement, they do go a long way to propel us forward as we are motivated to prepare for the next stage of life at Holy Blossom. So Shabbat Shalom, everyone, and we'll be seeing you soon. Stay well and healthy.